Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Samantha Farley. I have type one diabetes and I was diagnosed February 18th, 2021. So I'm coming up on my two year anniversary, which is absolutely insane. <laughs> so today I wanted to talk about the complications that are associated with type one diabetes. So I don't know if any of you have a story like I do and when I was diagnosed I immediately met with a diabetes educator in the hospital when I went to the ER and the thing she told me was just insane and awful and terrible especially for someone just finding out that they have type 1 diabetes. Not to mention I had no idea what type 1 diabetes was at the time. and. It was just handled very poorly. However, she did definitely need to tell me what the complications were if you don't take care of your blood sugars. And unfortunately, type one diabetes can give you some unfortunate complications, diseases, issues, so many different things. And it just is really terrible that autoimmune diseases do this to our body. But if you're not in control of your diabetes, things can happen and things that, you know, can shorten our lifespan and we can lose limbs and all these things. And it's really important to make sure that we keep our blood sugars in range as much as possible. And I know that's not the easiest thing to do all the time. <laughs> Trust me, I know, especially, you know, at certain times of the, of the month and the year, maybe you're more stressed at other times or whatever. It's, it's hard to, you know, manually manage your blood sugars. All these other lucky people in the world just get it done for them, but not us, not us. We have to do it ourselves. And so I wanted to talk about complications because it is an important topic and it's something we all definitely need to know because I, for me at least, it gives me motivation to take care of myself and to make sure my blood sugars are in range, you know, at least 90% of the time if I, if I can do that. And, you know, the complications are what motivates me. So one of the main complications that we can have is nerve damage. A lot of, unfortunately, a lot of type 1 diabetics do get nerve damage. It can happen anywhere. However, a lot of type 1 diabetics get it in their legs where they don't feel certain things, whether that's in their leg or their foot. But unfortunately, nerve damage is one of the complications that can come with type 1 diabetes if you don't control your blood sugars. Diabetic neuropathy is the healthcare term for that. Unfortunately, it can happen if our blood sugars are high most of the time. It won't happen immediately, so you're not gonna get diagnosed and then get neuropathy. But if your blood sugars are high over a period of time, it can start to happen after a few years, several years, really later in life. I'm a part of a few groups you know, on Facebook and just other type one diabetes groups. And unfortunately, I've heard this be the most common symptom that people get from uncontrolled blood sugars. Another common symptom of high blood sugars or uncontrolled diabetes is losing your eyesight. This is another common one that I hear through the grapevine and on all the groups on social media. People start to lose their eyesight. It gets worse and worse and worse as you get older and eventually, unfortunately, it can lead to blindness. Once again, this pretty much would only happen if you are having high blood sugars all the time and it lasts over time. So it's something to consider when maybe your blood sugars are high is think, okay, I could have neuropathy and I could lose my eyesight. So those are two additional symptoms that we can get for having high blood sugar. Going along with the neuropathy in the legs where we get nerve damage in the legs, it eventually will lead to the feet. And unfortunately, that can also lead to cutting off some limbs, which is, I don't even like to think about it because it really freaks me out. But anyway, if you have high blood sugar that leads to neuropathy and then eventually leads to really damaging your foot, it can lead to amputations. I've heard stories <laughs> of people who maybe have neuropathy they step on something sharp. They don't feel it because of the neuropathy, right? Like they, they don't, they have that nerve damage where you're not going to feel 
the pain of stepping on a sharp object, then they get a sore naturally, right? That's what happens when you step on a sharp object. And you don't know you have that sore because of the neuropathy and eventually it gets infected. Well, this is a very dangerous situation for type one diabetics because you want to make sure that thing is healing because if it's not, it can lead to amputation. It's important for diabetics to check their feet once a day, several times a week, to make sure that the sores on their feet, if they're there to begin with, making sure that they are healing properly. I try to check my feet a lot. I'm a runner and so I get blisters all the time and it freaks me out. So I wanna make sure that all of my wounds are healing on my feet. And it's a really important thing to do because I don't think any of us actually want to lose a limb. So make sure to keep that in mind, neuropathy, amputations, and then also losing your eyesight. Unfortunately, there's a lot of complications that can happen with diabetes. Really any part of the body can be affected, which is terrible. Your teeth can be affected. You can get porn to get your teeth checked regularly. Some more serious complications can be heart disease, a stroke, kidney disease, and really the worst of all is death. I hear about people who die of DKA, which basically means that you have very high blood sugar over a long period of time. Maybe you just aren't taking your insulin. Maybe you can't afford the insulin, so you don't have any insulin or whatever the case is. If you have really high blood sugars over a really long period of time, it can unfortunately lead to death. And it's very tragic because whatever the case may be, as to why that person had high blood sugars, it's always a terrible situation. That just will get me on another hot topic of why insulin prices should be cheaper. But anyway, it's just really important to manage your blood sugars as well as you possibly can. These things really can happen. And I think a lot of people just don't take it seriously. It's important to hear and read about the complications that can happen with type one diabetes because they actually can happen. It's not a myth. These things can happen. And I don't think any of us wanna go blind, lose our feet, die from heart disease. So I think it's important to read up on it for at least once a year and be like, okay, I need to get my act together because it's important that we all stay healthy. And I didn't wanna do this video to scare anyone. So if anyone's a new diabetic and you heard this and you're like, oh, holy crap, this is really scary. It is scary. It's 100% scary, but it's 100% doable to manage your blood sugars as well. If you have one high blood sugar, you're okay. I mean, I think my blood sugar went up to 200 last night, which is higher than the recommended amount, right? So it happens, but it's important to get out of that high blood sugar as soon as possible. Just keep that in mind. And I know this was kind of an interesting video because I'm rambling a lot, but complications are serious. And unfortunately they just come with type one diabetes. So taking best care of yourself is very, very crucial. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. And by the way, I know I missed last week. I'm so sorry. I was on vacation in Hawaii and I just didn't have time to make a video. And we can keep this going consistently now until at least the end of the year. If you have any topics that you'd like me to go over, please comment below and I'll see you guys next week in the next video. Bye.